Jab locks and resets have been a staple mechanic in every Smash game and are extremely potent, typically leading to big damage or the entire stock. But for Mewtwo, the punishes and follow-ups can be tricky as he has to work a little harder for his optimal punishes. So in this video, I'm going to break down Mewtwo's jab lock follow-ups, setups, and when you should go for them. Let's start from square one. What is a jab lock? Well, whenever your opponent goes into tumble and misses a tech, you have a window of 25 frames to hit them with a low knockback move. If this happens, you will have locked them for an additional 38 frames. This can be done up to two times. Any more attempts will result in your opponent immediately standing up. But for those 38 frames, they are wide open for an attack, typically being a quick smash attack or combo. The reason I mention these numbers is when looking at Mewtwo's smash attacks, there isn't an amazing option for jab locks. Down smash is too slow, and will only hit players who do not choose a getup option in time. Up smash is fast enough, but lacks a quality scooping hit. Forward smash does work, but will likely end up connecting with the sour spot on his arms, which isn't ideal. We can get around this by doing a pivot F smash back to get the sweet spot, but the timing is extremely precise. As such, Mewtwo will opt to go for a combo as a punish. Let's start with the basic ones. Down tilt is by far your most reliable follow-up at all percents, since you can combo into a neutral air, forward air, back air, or up air. Be sure to hit them with the close hitbox, as the other two send too far away to reliably combo. This is why you might want to walk slightly closer to your opponents after you lock them. However, there is a very strong follow-up at mid percent, that being a down tilt, double jump up air into forward air. The spacing and timing are tight, but it deals a lot of damage and can even kill at the ledge. Only go for this around 35-55%, to depending on character weight. If you're finding this combo to be too difficult, you can opt for a down tilt, short hop side B, double jump up air into forward air as an easier alternative. This is not a true combo since the up air can be air dodged, but if they jump or attack, the rest is guaranteed. And if your spacing is just right, you can go for an F tilt into teleport cancel edge guard. Up tilt is also a decent follow up, as you can combo into a neutral air, fast fall, and then a forward air. If that's too difficult, go for an up smash. These do deal more damage, but can be inconsistent since connecting the wrong hitbox will launch your opponents too high to combo. A few more options open up if you jab lock near the ledge. If you lock them, walk towards the ledge so your opponent slips off and immediately go for a down tilt. You'll notice the ledge slip causes your opponent to be sent slightly lower than normal. This allows us to down tilt into an angled up forward smash for an early kill. This ledge slip also widens the percent window for all of Mewtwo's follow-ups, even leading into kill confirms at high percents. Alternatively, you can run off teleport to go for a ledge trump, forcing an option or punishing with a back air if you trump them. Though this isn't optimal, since your opponent has enough time to react and choose a getup option immediately. So far, so good. But what if we jab lock near a platform? Obviously the previously mentioned combos are still applicable, but we also get some new ones. One tricky yet effective combo is a down tilt, full hop, neutral air, fast fall into up smash. Make sure you fast fall so the launching hit of neutral air doesn't come out. This will close out the stock against lightweights. If you want to go for a mix up, down tilt will pop them up just above the platform at mid percents. This can force a tech situation that you can read and react to. If they miss the tech, follow up with an up smash. If you predict they'll tech, go for a disable into an up smash for an early kill. Keep in mind the setup only works at specific percents, since down tilt will eventually send high enough where players can jump out, in which case just go for an aerial. Alright, so we've gone over the various punishes Mewtwo can pull off, but how do we effectively set up a jab block? Generally speaking, the best moves are those with low vertical knockback, but decent horizontal knockback, as these will give your opponent little time to react and tech. By far his best move for setups is the last hit of neutral air, which starts forcing tech situations at 40-50%, to 50 though it's important to land with the move so you have enough time to chase. Another risky yet flashy option is a landing up air into footstool, which is guaranteed at around 25-35%. to 35%. 
Air dodge down as soon as the footstool connects so you can get to the ground to lock. At mid percents, down throw and down tilt start forcing tech situations on platforms, which can then lead into a disable or up smash. But as mentioned earlier, the percents are very niche and character dependent. Overall, jab locks are still one of the few areas where Mewtwo's power is more down to earth, but hopefully after watching this, you learn something new, useful, or flashy that you can implement into your game. And even if you don't play Mewtwo, I hope you take some of these concepts and try them out on your main. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something useful. If you did, let me know by leaving a like and subscribing if you would like to see more. If there's a specific piece of tech or information you want me to cover, let me know in a comment below. That's all I have for now, and I'll see you all in the next one.